What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Smell with the Spizzles. I'm Smell, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and you haven't already subscribed, stop what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help you this channel. The second link is to shop the official Smell with the Spizzles, a merch collection, get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, and the flower dye crew neck. But y'all, if you have not done anything else, turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming out boom 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 and you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream and we will be live monday night birds of broad street podcast so be there don't miss it but y'all you have seen the title you have seen the thumbnail one of my subscribers asked me are the eagles a better or worse team this year than last year so here is my answer i think that the eagles are one the most complete team in the nfl the most complete team in the NFL going into training camp, going into the start of the season, the best team in the NFL. We were the best team last year. The best team doesn't always execute. You know what I'm saying? The bet we weren't the best coaching staff as that was proven last year, but we were the best team last year. The best team doesn't always win. You know what I mean? The most well executed team wins as we saw last year, better coach, better execution. But the Eagles are going into this season, in my opinion, as the most complete team and the best team in the NFL, which we were last year. Now, the question is, are we better? I think we're just as good, if not better. And let's talk about it. I'm going to tell you guys why. Starting with the number one main reason, Jalen freaking hurts. E then better and even more fired up. Jalen Hurts is going into a, another season, um, a third, his third year as the full time starter for the Philadelphia Eagles with more knowledge, more expertise, more mistakes to learn from, and much more fuel, much more fuel added to his fire after losing that Super Bowl and losing the Super Bowl the way that we did. Jalen Hurts is going to be more motivated than ever to finish the job. It's nothing like being right there. You know, when it comes to motivation, if you've never visualized, like if you weren't able to visualize something, it's hard to stay motivated. These bum teams that never even get close to the playoffs, never even get close to the Super Bowl, it's hard for them to get giddied up because, you know, that's just like a faraway pipe dream. You know what I mean? But being so close, seeing the Super Bowl trophy, feeling that confetti falling down for the other team, seeing the other team celebrate right in your face, being right there. That is that motivation because you see it, you tasted it, you've been so close, and now you yearning to get that feeling back again. You know what I'm saying? Some people, they've never felt that. Most people, most quarterbacks, most teams, they haven't even got close enough to feel, you know what I'm saying, that high of a Super Bowl. So Jalen being so close, yet so far away last season, that is going to have him even more fired up to work, 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 work this offseason and to grow and to be even better. Jalen Hurts still climbing up his ladder. So that's one reason why the, the Eagles are going to be better than last season because where it all starts with the quarterback is going to be better. Two, Dallas, AJ, and Smitty individually are going to be better because, you know, they have some um, experience playing with Jalen Hurts. They have some experience playing with each other. They have some experience now all playing together in this offense. They have that experience all together adjusting for somebody like AJ Brown coming into the system. Jalen Hurts on his new G, you know what I'm saying? That 2022 Jalen Hurts, not that 2021 Jalen Hurts um, playing with Nick Sirianni. So they are going to be even better as a trio. Okay. So again, our wide receiver core. Our trio still young, still in the up and coming, still reaching their peak. So Jalen being better, the wide receiver, the the, the our top three um, targets being better, and then wide receiver three. That position upgraded last season. Quez Watkins this season looking like some Alameda Zacchaeus. And a wise man once said, "You're only as good as your wide receiver three. And we saw how last season that wide receiver three, you know. Had us looking strung out. Had us looking. Had us. Had us in some. In some. In some. In some unfortunate situations. So this season, the wide receiver three position upgraded. You know what I'm saying? 
who knows what's this is just my predictions. I feel like Alama Days and Kids is gonna be out Quez. And whatever happens to Quez, maybe he goes to special teams. And if we move Quez to special teams, shoot, that's an upgrade right there on special teams. Just by moving Quez to special teams and Alama Day bumping up the Rasta. You know what I'm saying? So right there, just offensively overall, um, Upgrade. Obviously, offensive line, we did lose Isaac, but we still have some pieces. We added uh, Tyler Steen in the offseason. We already have some internal pieces um, in Jurgens and Landon Dickerson and all those younger guys that are ready to step up. Plus, with Jeff Stalin University, the offensive line always going to be fine, always going to be good. But like I said, pass catching group upgraded. Shoot, special teams might be upgraded, like I said, with Quiz moving over there. Running back group, it, I feel like the running back group could – possibly be upgraded and let me tell you why because we have that two-man pump, 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 pumped with um now adding Rashad Penny so having that thumper last season in the running back room we really didn't have that thumper we had Miles and and, and Kenny Gainwell but neither one of those guys are a thumper a bruiser which Rashad Penny would be so adding Rashad Penny to the running back room assuming that he's healthy and Swift is healthy then that is an upgrade in and itself because we have that thunder and lightning duo that we haven't had in a while so honestly the running back room upgraded you know what i'm saying because we have diversity in our running back room um this season so i would say running back room upgraded cornerbacks the depth again didn't get any worse we got avante we got slay we got bradbury back and we upgraded our depth by adding greedy williams by adding Ke keely ringo so the depth in the cornerback room upgraded so i would say that's even better than last season because we know avante maddox <laughs> He ain't the sturdiest, you know what I'm saying? So having that depth at the slot corner position is going to be huge. So I would say the cornerback room upgraded. Obviously, um, defensive line, Jordan Davis upgraded. Jordan Davis is going to be even better because he's talking about he needs to get in conditioning. We can't forget how Jordan Davis got hurt throughout last season, okay? Last season, before he got hurt, he was a run stuffer, a run stopper, okay? And we saw how that run defense fell off when Jordan Davis got hurt. Now, this season, this offseason, he, he's going to his second year, and he said he still feels like a rookie because he still has so much to prove. He still has, he's learned so much from last season that he's ready to apply to this season and getting his conditioning better. So, that's another area where we upgraded because Jordan Davis more conditioning you know more stamina ready to go gonna add some pass rushing techniques to his bag along with his run stopping abilities so that's an upgrade in my opinion we also added Nolan Smith big upgrade to the pass rushing room not even just upgrade but just a big addition to the pass rushing room as well and also Derek Barnett coming off an of injured reserve added to that rotation of defensive ends so we got Nolan Smith outside linebacker um added alongside Hassan Reddick and then we have Derek Barnett coming in to be a rotational defensive end upgrade upgrade even better than last season do you know what I'm saying um also on the defensive line we did lose Javon Hargrave but we added um Jalen Carter, Jalen Carter, who has the potential to be even better than Javon Hargrave. Time will tell and we will see, but I feel like Jalen Carter's going to come right in and be ready to go. He's, he's, he's a diverse defensive tackle because Javon was really good at pass rush, but he wasn't the, the, really that good at run stopping. And Jalen Carter is a guy that can do both. So I would say upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. All I'm seeing is upgrades now. Okay. We do have the safety and linebacker position, which are two big question marks, two, two, two question marks. But that doesn't mean that they can't be better than last season. Those are the areas where we have a question mark. We did go ahead and, um, you know, draft for the safety position. We signed Terrell Edmonds. Um, we got Sidney Brown in the draft. Uh, we also have Avery Blankenship, who's still in the system from last year, did really good last year. And like um, like CJ Gardner-Johnson said, it's easier to play safety when you have our cornerbacks. Um, so that should apply. We saw how CJ Gardner-Johnson has best season playing with Slay and Bradbury and Maddox. That should also apply for Terrell Edmonds and Sidney Brown coming in. So we'll see. We don't, I'm not saying that's a downgrade because we don't know yet. Shoot, it could be an upgrade. We'll find out. Linebacker, question mark as well. Nicobe Dean coming in as a starter. Nicholas Morrow, former starter, but coming into our system for the first time. But overall, I really feel like the Eagles overall, we're just as good, if not better. I feel like we, and then 
not only Jalen Hurts being hungry, but all those guys being hungry, all those guys who are coming back and 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 feel like I could have did this to secure that Super Bowl. I could have just if I could have just did this, if I could have just worked on this a little bit more. All those guys are hungrier, hungry, okay. And like Jalen Hurts said, hungry dogs run faster. So this season, we're going to be running even faster than last season. But y'all, let me know what you think. What group do you think got way better? What group do you think got worse? The worst. And what group are you worried about the most? What group are you the most excited for? Let me know. Make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rock with me. Check out links down below. Buy me the coffee. I feel this channel. Shout out to Fish Smallest Business Merch Collection. Until I see you guys next time. Bye.